know, what was it like knowing Proof, man? Can you reflect a little bit on him? Well, yeah, you know, Proof and Eminem both was my students. Um, I took them on pawn and have them hanging out with me and, and doing crazy things with me together. When I when I met Basement Productions through my boy Shortcut, I met the producer Maddox first, then I met Eminem. Then when I started hanging with Eminem, Proof was right there. You know, Proof to me was better than Eminem. Could be way better than Eminem. Um, not not dissing Eminem or nothing like that, but he just was. He, you know, and if you look at any Eminem stage shows with Proof, and if you look at any Eminem stage shows without Proof, there's a night and day difference there. Um, Proof used to watch me and Esham in the crowds when we were young, so he wasn't even really rapping when we first was rapping. He was always in the crowd watching us, which is a good thing. A lot of the Detroit rappers watched us, just like Twisted. Um, if you know the group Twisted, there was with ICP. I went to the Boys and Girls Club guys. They were. They were. Yeah, Twisted, you know, they were, they, they were quiet guys. There was a House of Crazies at first or whatever. Then, you know, they minus the member and went to Twisted. But Paul and Twisted, he just was a quiet guy. We used to play sports together. He barely talked, but he used to, but every time I battle rap, he would be in that crowd watching. So me and Esham influenced a lot of people on the battle rap tip, period. What you see in 8 Mile, that, that really didn't happen. And if you see the movie, The Untold Story of Detroit Hip Hop, you will see what Eminem was really doing. He was just going around the clubs trying to get accepted and trying not to get booed. All this tearing down MCs and beating every MC in Detroit, that shit wasn't happening like that. The real battles went on 15 years prior to Eminem arrival. And those was at Osborne lunch rooms, those was at Vine Steuben Playfield outside after school. Those was the real nasty, dirty rap battles that me and Esham was in, and then we stayed undefeated for four to five straight years. We probably took out hundreds of MCs. I mean, hundreds. You know, those were the real rap battles. You know, by the time Proof and them started doing it, even though Proof was a real good rap battle, and then when you see on the um, Never Seen Before footage of the Build a DVD, there's going to be a more in, a in-depth interview with Proof, and he tells you flat out, if Champ said that he passed me the torch, that's not inaccurate. That's really the truth, you know? So I'm not making it up. So Proof know where he, where he studied and, and, and got this whole battle rap from. And for my whole example, to break it down, the Eminem situation, where him beefing with ICP, where him beefing with Esham, all those was beef that he inherited when he got on my label. Eminem just went after everybody. Like, you know what, champ? You don't like, you know, Esham right now? You don't like ICP? I'm going at him. I'm going at him. So those beefs that you hear with Eminem and ICP, all that is because he inherited my beefs. You know, this whole I'm going at you, fuck the world attitude, that's that's a nine-year-old, 12-year-old champ child shit. You know, that's where, you know, all that is influenced by, you know. 